After more than a day of testimony, it took a grand jury just 10 minutes to decide the use of deadly force by a Port St. Lucie police officer last November was justified. News Channel 5's John Shaman was at the courthouse for the decision. In his five years, Chief John Baldock has only seen two police-involved shootings in Port St. Lucie. You know, it, it does happen, and, and uh, you know, the officers are placed in some very tight spots. Wednesday, a grand jury ruled that last November's shooting that killed 25-year-old Samson Florent in his home was justified. My condolences to the Florent family. I mean, uh, any loss of human life is, is certainly a tragedy. The grand jury heard from 11 witnesses. A typical would be seven or eight witnesses, but um, just because of the individuals that were present and um, all the um, actors in this, um, they ended up being with uh, going with 11. We didn't know what was going on with them. We didn't know what his mind state was. At the time of the shooting, Florent's family told us they were trying to get him help. Before the shooting, Florent had taken a machete and marked up several walls. When police arrived, Florent locked himself in his room. The family says officers broke down the door and Florent was shot after a taser failed to stop him from approaching with the machete. My family just want justice. An attorney for the family said Wednesday they respect the process but are disappointed in the decision, especially since Florent's brother, a corrections officer, was not allowed to see Samson before he was shot. He had not threatened anybody, had not harmed anybody, had done nothing, had no criminal record, no traffic ticket, no nothing. The officer who shot Florent, 18-year veteran Colin Duncombe, is now back on patrol. The Florent family still plans to file a civil lawsuit in this case. In Port St. Lucie, John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5.